It's week 21 of A Year of Wisdom. Let's get to reading. Day 142. Job 31. I made a covenant with my eyes not to look lustfully at a young woman. For what is our lot from God above, our heritage from the Almighty on high? Is it not ruin for the wicked, disaster for those who do wrong? Does he not see my ways and count my every step? If I have walked with falsehood or my foot has hurried after deceit, let God weigh me in honest scales, and he will know that I am blameless. If my steps have turned from the path, if my heart has been led by my eyes, or if my hands have been defiled, then may others eat what I have sown, and may my crops be uprooted. If my heart has been enticed by a woman, or if I have lurked at my neighbor's door, then may my wife grind another man's grain, and may other men sleep with her. For that would have been wicked, a sin to be judged. It is a fire that burns to destruction. It would have uprooted my harvest. If I had denied justice to any of my servants, whether male or female, when they had a grievance against me, what will I do when God confronts me? What will I answer when called to account? Did not he who made me in the womb make them? Did not the same one form us both within our mothers? If I have denied the desires of the poor, or let the eyes of the widow grow weary, if I have kept my bread to myself, not sharing it with the fatherless, but from my youth I reared them as a father would, and from my birth I guided the widow, if I have seen anyone perishing for lack of clothing or the needy without garments, and their hearts did not bless me for warming them with the fleece from my sheep, if I have raised my hand against the fatherless knowing that I had influence in court, then let my arm fall from the shoulder. Let it be broken off at the joint. For I dreaded destruction from God, and for fear of his splendor, I could not do such things. If I have put my trust in gold or said to pure gold, You are my security. If I have rejoiced over my great wealth, the fortune of my hands had gained. If I had regarded the sun in its radiance, or the moon moving in splendor so that my heart was secretly enticed, and my hand offered them a kiss of homage, then these also would be sins to be judged, for I would have been unfaithful to God on high. If I had rejoiced at my enemy's misfortune or gloated over the trouble that came to him, I have not allowed my mouth to sin by invoking a curse against their life. If those in my household have never said, Who has not been filled with Job's meat? But no stranger had to spend the night in the street, for my door was always open to the traveler. If I have concealed my sin as people do, by hiding my guilt in my heart, because I so feared the crowd and so dreaded the contempt of the clans, that I kept silent and would not go outside? Oh, that I had someone to hear me. I sign now my defense. Let the Almighty answer me. Let my accuser put his indictment in writing. Surely I would wear it on my shoulder. I would put it on like a crown. I would give him an account of every step. I would present it to him as a ruler. If my land cries out against me and all its furrows are wet with tears, if I have devoured its yield without payment or broken the spirit of its tenants, then let briars come up instead of wheat and stink weed instead of barley. The words of Job are ended. Proverbs 22 A good name is more desirable than great riches. To be esteemed is better than silver or gold. Rich and poor have this in common. The Lord is the maker of them all. The prudent see danger and take refuge, but the simple keep going and pay the penalty. Humility is the fear of the Lord. Its wages are riches and honor and life. In the paths of the wicked are snares and pitfalls, but those who would preserve their lives stay far from them. Start children off on the way they should go, and even when they're old, they will not turn from it. The rich rule over the poor, and the borrower is slave to the lender. Whoever sows injustice reaps calamity, and the rod they wield in fury will be broken. The generous will themselves be blessed, for they share their food with the poor. Drive out the mocker and out goes strife. Quarrels and insults are ended. 
One who loves a pure heart and speaks with grace will have the king for a friend. The eyes of the Lord keep watch over knowledge, but he frustrates the words of the unfaithful. The sluggard says, there's lion outside. I'll be killed in the pub public square. The mouth of an adulterous woman is a deep pit. A man who is under the Lord's wrath falls into it. Folly is bound up in the heart of a child, but the rod of discipline will drive it far away. One who oppresses the poor to increase his wealth and one who gives gifts to the rich both come to poverty. Pay attention and turn your ear to the sayings of the wise. Apply your heart to what I teach, for it is pleasing when you keep them in your heart and have all of them ready on your lips. So that your trust may be in the Lord, I teach you today, even you. Have I not written 30 sayings for you? Sayings of counsel and knowledge, teaching you to be honest and to speak the truth, so that you bring back truthful reports to those you serve? Do not exploit the poor because they are poor, and do not crush the needy in court. For the Lord will take up their case and will exact life for life. Do not make friends with a hot-tempered person. Do not associate with one easily angered. Or you may learn their ways and get yourself ensnared. Do not be one who shakes hands and pledge or puts up security for debts. If you lack the means to pay, your very bed will be snatched from under you. Do not move an ancient boundary stone set up by your ancestors. Do you see someone skilled in their work? They will serve before kings. They will not serve before officials of low rank. And as always, thank you so much for being here today. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and I will see you when tomorrow. My head's complete Maranatha. And my heart is worry worn. I know without a doubt you'll carry me out of the storm. I'm standing at the crossroads I'm lost without a clue I need a big pink neon sign To show me what to do I thank you Lord It glorifies you when you're the only answer I praise you Lord for holding what's too much for me And I'm amazed by you, Lord Because nothing's too big and nothing's too small to lay at your feet